What brings you out here today, and you know, what's your primary concern? Um, my primary concern is that we're going to have another war against Iran like we did in Iraq, um, which is a groundless war, uh, and <clears throat> it appears that the administration is hyping up a problem or creating a boogeyman that really doesn't exist, that all of the facts show that Iran is, in fact, not creating any nuclear weapons. Um, this is strictly something that Israel is interested in doing. And uh, the sole purpose is for control of oil in the Middle East. And we can't afford this war. And I find it's both uh, illegal and immoral. What similarities do you see in this situation with Iran compared to how things got started in Iraq? Well, of course, with Iraq, we had all the hype, hype about uh, weapons of mass destruction. And we're getting similar hype here about Iran getting a nuclear weapon. And Iran has not been and is not working on nuclear weapons. They're simply enriching uranium for use in their nuclear uh, electricity facilities. So, And they need the electricity. And they're, uh, of course, uh, members of this uh, non-proliferation group, and they have abided by all their rules uh, and allowed the uh, investigators to come in. And they're still finding no evidence of nuclear weapons. So as much as we want to keep hearing about this on the news and the mass media, of course, reports anything the government wants them to report, and there's no substance to any of it. The media plays a big role. Uh, you know, it's the way that they report things uh, that cause people alarm. And if they were to actually report the truth and say that new, that Iran is not building nuclear weapons, uh, I don't think they'd get as much uh, popular support for wars. Now, for today, um, I don't know if it's a one or two point two-part question because I want to ask you what your message is for U.S. Representative Mike Rogers and what's your message for uh, Barack Obama. Um, uh, is that the same message or how would you address both how would you address both of those leaders? I would say to both of them that it, uh, it's not in the best interests of this country to start another war against Iran. And because we don't uh, have the support of the rest of the world, uh, this very, very well could uh, escalate into a, a nuclear world war. And there's no point in taking that kind of chance. And I would say that to both Mike Rogers and Barack Obama. What do American citizens need to do um, to prevent, uh, let's say, a, an attack or an invasion on Iran? Um, I don't know what they can do other than hold mass protests. Uh, I don't think it does any good anymore to let your congressman know what you want or don't want. They will vote only according to the special interest groups that provide their campaign funds. Um, and outside of mass protests, I, I can't say what would do any good. So I was going to ask you, what are the prospects of Congress listening to the American people uh, and the American people, you know, making these statements on Iran? Um, I, the chances of Congress listening are, are very slim unless there are mass protests. Uh, if you recall back at, during the bank bailouts, 90% of the people that contra contacted their congressmen were not in favor of bailing out the banks and they went ahead and did it anyway. So that tells you how much they listen to their constituents.